on our way to Carmel Head. Oh, <laughs> the dog has joined us again. <laughs> We've made a little friend. Hello. We haven't really got a clue where we're going. And we've just had to walk through someone's farm. Still on someone's farm. I think we are still on someone's farm. So you can hear all the cows. Um, we couldn't drive any further because it was a private road. But it says the public footpath is this way. But we don't really know where we're going. <laughs> As usual. As usual. I think I'm sure we'll get told off in a minute. Probably that we're going that we're not in the right place. trespassing on someone's land. Um, or shot. <laughs> <laughs> we watched a we watched a video on YouTube of Des Green's video and he did this walk and obviously we aren't following the same route because we don't know where we're, we're going. Idiots. We're idiots. Um, but I'm sure he mentioned that you go through someone's farm and to avoid stepping in all the cow paths to go a certain way but um Looks like we didn't go that we way. We didn't go that way so <laughs> We're definitely finding our way through all the cow paths and we just seem to have got this dog with us. We sort of adopted this little doggy. I haven't got a clue if we're going the right way and this is really quite muddy. We always do everything wrong. <laughs> We're now stuck behind an electric fence as well, which isn't ideal. Um, I think I'm going to let Nick go first. <laughs> So we feel like we're now back on track and actually following a coastal path now because we found another arrow but the arrows kind of disappeared over those fields so we don't know whether we were going where we were meant to be going or not but now I feel like we're on the right track but we still have a dog <laughs> who seems to be following us so hopefully he doesn't try and run away because I don't want him to get lost <laughs> yes we've adopted a little dog it's very cute <laughs> We followed the coastline, walking right along the top of the cliffs with the sea beneath us, making our way to the tip of the headland in the distance. It really was a stunning walk and made even better by our new best friend.
We found loads of interesting coves along the way which we couldn't resist exploring. The little doggy's shown us this lovely little cove, showing us where to go. It's like we've got our own personal tour guide. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a lovely little cove, like a rocky beach. Nick's gone into a cave over there with the dog, because <laughs> the dog just showed them a little cave to go into. It's really nice though, and really strong smell of seaweed as well. So lovely though. Imagine it was a hot day and being able to swim in there. <laughs> Be lovely. Don't go too far in there. Come back. Come on. Come back. We continued over bridges and streams and our little friend was never far behind. Here she comes. We thought she'd run away, but she's back. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Ready for another adventure. So, according to my watch, it says we've walked 1.77 miles <laughs> of this coastal path and we still have the dog. <laughs> the dog's showing us where to go. She's showing us where to go, she is. Um, I mean, we've just come across some walkers, so we're kind of hoping they don't have a dog off the lead because she's not our dog, so <laughs> we haven't got a lead to butt on her to make sure that she doesn't run up to them, but um, hopefully, like hopefully they like dogs. Um, but it's a lovely coastline, isn't it? Yeah. 
and she the sun is coming. farm dog because she was running around the farm land when we arrived. So yeah, and she probably knows the area better than anyone. I think so. I think she does. She seems quite nimble, doesn't she? Yeah. She knows all the ways. All of a sudden, you think you've lost her. Then she comes bombing past you, <laughs> like a hundred mile an hour. Oh, this is a bit boggy. She's shown us the wrong way here. So Kemlin, where we've done some other videos before, where we've actually seen Riso's just off that tip over there, isn't that far down this coastline. And we've always looked at this point and thought, oh, I really want to come here and see these, what look like big monuments. Um, oh, dog's chasing a pheasant now. Um, so yeah, we've always wanted to come and see these monuments. They're actually really cool, like really pleased. So we've always wanted to come and see these monuments or um, statues or whatever they're meant to be um, but we've just never actually been down here before so I'm actually pleased that we've actually made it down I'm pleased we found a dog on the way I think Nick has definitely made a new best friend as well in this little dog he said he's quite attached to it already <laughs> it's gonna be sad when we've got to leave her at the farm on the way back home we've become very like close friends with this little doggy Carmel head. All three of us. All three of us together. <laughs> oh. All three of us are to still together. She showed us the way. She showed us the way and she's rubbing her belly on the ground. <laughs> We've named her tails because her tail won't start what stop wagging. <laughs> and she's very fast and excited. But she's going to be filthy when she goes back to her home. <laughs> the right little terror. ran off over the field <laughs> and in the distance over there are the Skerries lighthouse and we've seen Riso's dolphins in this um, sort of current right in front of the lighthouse when we've been at Kemlin before which we filmed in one of our other vlogs um, oh <laughs> there she is hello hello gorgeous girl hey hello you tired now I think you are I think you are tired, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> she's gone. I <laughs> know. <laughs> um, yeah, we've seen Riso's off just above Nick's head before when we've been at Kemlin. So it's actually really cool to be a lot closer to it now. And I imagine if we had any Riso's in front of us, it would be like, we'd get some really good shots of them. It's just, <laughs> the only thing is it'll be quite far to walk to get to this point if they were passing along but I think if you saw them at Point Linus you could probably come here and then hopefully beat them to it and then see them really well especially if you clambered down those rocks all down there that'd be really cool we sat down at Carmel Head to look out to sea and try and spot some passing dolphins our furry friend enjoyed the break and just chilled with us
She had so much character and for some reason loved to rub her belly across the long grass and roll in some cow pats. She kept us entertained for ages and she thoroughly enjoyed getting herself filthy. It was a good job we didn't have to clean her up afterwards. joined the coastal path before. Now we've got to somehow find our way back to the farm. Hopefully she's gonna hang around back by her house and not follow us to the car. We're gonna be heartbroken as well if she comes and sits by the car door. I think, I don't know. I think she will. September. So Cindy, as we now have found out that's what she's called. I prefer tails. <laughs> yeah, I prefer tails. She's now reunited with her owner. She was going to follow us to the car. Yeah. Um, but followed thanks us everywhere else. Yeah, she's followed us for about, oh, we're going to get run over. She's followed us for about four miles <laughs> all along the coastal path. Um, she wouldn't leave our side. She'd go like 20 meters ahead then. She'd just keep <laughs> stopping and looking where we were. <laughs> She's so cute. And she would make a perfect travel dog. Yeah. She just was so clever. Van. Yeah, perfect size for the van. And like really clever on the cl cliffs as well, wasn't she? <laughs> but yeah, she's reunited with her owner, unfortunately for us. She had a nice afternoon there. She did. And she's filthy now, so they'll have to clean <laughs> <Yeah>. her up. <laughs> So, can you guess where we are now? <laughs> we've done the whole of Anglesey in a day pretty much. <laughs> we have. We've got a lovely sunset. It's about half five, but we just couldn't resist coming to probably our favourite place on Anglesey before we left. <laughs> Back at Point Linus. Back at Point Linus. <laughs> so we'll take you for a little trip to the lighthouse. We haven't got our little dog with us anymore. No. <laughs> She would have liked it though, wouldn't she? She would have loved to have had a little run around. We might have some more four-legged friends soon though, <laughs> like we normally do. Yeah. Hopefully our little horsey friends are still here. <laughs> but yes, 
let's go to the lighthouse and have a look round. <laughs> been told that there's some dolphins here. We're thinking they're probably porpoises but it'd still be cool to see them if they're there. We've done this run many a time but someone's just said there's some dolphins off the end of Point Linus so whether they're dolphins might be porpoises but oh, the only fin that we've seen today though so hopefully we can see some. Had a feeling that it might be porpoises that that couple had seen and it is <laughs> we're trying to get some footage now they're in their usual spot feeding just off the current i'm pleased we've seen some fins today though <laughs> there's a seal hanging around as well. yes and there's a seal <laughs> it's so lovely and calm and if there had been some dolphins here as well that would be amazing probably helps us that it's calm that we were able to see the porpoises and really kind of that couple to mention it as well <laughs> hopefully we get some footage I think we've managed to get a little clip they just aren't coming up very often but there's a couple of individuals sort of spread out they come up when you stop recording <laughs> they do as soon as you start again they go on Very successful day. <laughs> On our day tour of Anglesey. <laughs> yeah. The north coast of Anglesey in a day. We've walked most of it. We've had some fins to finish the day, which yeah. is good. We've had paws, fins, and hooves. <laughs> we have. <laughs> found our pony friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that brings us to the end of our day. <laughs> uh, shamefully. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> we've got a lot done though. So. We have, we've done a lot of steps, we've walked a lot of miles, Met a lot of animals <laughs> and saw some fins, so really, you couldn't have got much better. So you have to tune we in next it. time to see where we end up. I don't yes. think we even know yet, but we'll be somewhere. We'll be somewhere, yeah. <laughs> and make sure you like and subscribe to follow yeah. more of our adventures. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.